Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinhauer. Today I'm going to talk to you about an aperture rule. Now, in a previous video that I did, I didn't have the aperture rule all put together. So we decided it'd probably be a good idea if I showed you exactly how to use this. And if you're local to us, you can call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. You've got two choices. You can either get some general feedback about some questions that you answer and what could be kind of like how it is affecting you with your vision, but it won't be specific to your individual problem. The only way we can get really specific is if we do a consultation or see you in the clinic. So there is a button you can schedule a consultation with us if you are not local to us. Please feel free to do that. All right, now let's talk about an aperture rule. So this is a really useful tool. We use it for all of our patients who have binocular vision or two-eyed vision disorders, and it teaches and trains the eyes how to work together more efficiently as a team. So whether you have strabismus, amblyopia, maybe a tracking problem, or just generalized binocular vision disorder, or if you have something like optic atrophy, vision loss due to a stroke, um, traumatic brain injury, you name it, nystagmus, okay, there's lots of conditions. We will use this tool in order to help you improve your vision. Now, there are several components to this, so it kind of has a little platform. It has a window, which there's a single window, and there's a double window. And then it has this card set on the back. And the card set has a bunch of different pictures on it. And as you look through the window, you'll see the pictures on the card. Your eyes will align and you have to put it together to see it as a single solid one unit or one picture or image. So not a double image. Now, if we're using the single window, it does tell you on the card exactly where to move things. So you'll move this window up and down based on what the card tells you. And you may even move the card in a different position based on what it will tell you to do. It has little instructions right here on the very side. And so for today, for the demonstration, I'm going to show you the single window. So what you do, let's see if I can make it look okay in video, is you hold this up to the end of your nose. You look through the window, and then there's going to be a picture down there. You do a quick little test to see, can you see it with that eye? Switch, can you see the image with that eye? Yep, I got it. Now can you put it together and get a fused one single image with both eyes together? I can, I can do it. I see a little sailboat. It will have a few visual cues attached to the picture that tell us whether you're using both eyes well together as a team or if one eye is being ignored or suppressed. There's a little plus sign above the circle and there's a little dot below. The plus sign is something that is seen by the left eye. The dot is something that is seen by the right eye. So in order to know that you're using both eyes accurately, we can tell that if you can see the little plus in the dot. And then there are two sets of circles. There's an outer circle and an inner circle, which I'll show you in just a minute. And the inner circle will pop out and come close to your eyes if you're crossing or converging them like I'm doing with this one window. But if I'm diverging or taking my eyes out using the two windowed system, then that little circle on the inside is going to go back like a sinkhole. It will sink farther away. I'll still be able to see one image if I confuse it and put it together with my eyes. Now the other thing that happens here is let's say that a person has problems with double vision up and down or diagonally. Okay, side to side we can kind of figure out we're working on that if we've got one versus two windows. But what happens if it's up and down? Well, the images will kind of double up this way, off to the sides, or up and down. And we'll work on you getting a single unified image for that. We might need to start you off with an easier card than this one. I jumped into the hard one right away. You can see there's two sailboats. And if I take this off of here, let me see if I can show you just a little bit better what this card looks like with the little circle. So we'll kind of zoom into the camera here a little bit better. You can see here that what this is, is that's a circle that has a dot. Over here is a circle with the plus. 
when your eyes visually put this together, you're getting a combination with one image. And again, that little plus will be above the circle and the little dot will be below it. There'll be a circle and a circle inside that. It will either pop out if you're crossing the eyes or go away from you if you are diverging or relaxing your eyes. So that's a generalized look at how we use the aperture rule. Again, it's a tool that we use for quite a lot of conditions and uh, maybe it's something that you need to utilize to help you with your vision. If you are interested in talking to us about not only the aperture rule, but also how we can just help your vision overall, then you wanna connect with our clinic. Our phone number is 618-288-1489 if you're local to us. If you're not local, feel free to give us a call. Um, sorry, if you're not local, feel free to go to our website at visionforlifewords.com. You can do one of two things. Again, you can fill out a questionnaire, which is a bit general information, or you can schedule a consultation time directly to speak with me about how we can help you with your vision. Now, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe so that you get all of our video not notifications. And if you feel like this could be helpful for someone, please pass it on. Thank you.